This week for our Keeping It Local segment, I spent time with a local dog trainer, Jacob Fowler. His business, Blue Line Canine, does all types of dog training, but they specialize in personal protection dogs. Jacob is a military and law enforcement veteran and former canine police officer. I met up with him and three of his students to see how dogs go from puppies to protectors. People come to me because they want home protection. People like Lavera Hutchinson. I had somebody who did try coming into my house when I was there by myself and after that it was like I knew I had to protect myself in other ways besides a weapon. Yeah. He's the safest way. But it's not necessarily the easiest way. But these people are, need to be dedicated. This is a long process, but it's a good process. And this is just going to simulate again if I was an attacker. It's a bonding experience. They have a lot of time invested in this. Through my program, it's a minimum of 100 hours worth of training just to say that, hey, I have a personal protection dog. And despite what it looks like. Ah! Good boy, Max. Good boy. Grab by the harness. Jacob says that doesn't mean you wind up with a vicious dog. Good job, Max. So a lot of people think that there is aggression in these dogs, and, and what it is is that we're rewarding them for playing tug of war. He's, get it, get it, girl. Oh, good girl. Get us. There's no animosity. They're not angry. They just want to play and have fun. First and foremost, as a family protection dog, they need to be obedient. So obedience for me is the foundation of all training. Leave it. Good, good boy. boy. And if I don't have an obedient dog, then I have just an attack dog. Nobody wants an attack dog in their home with a five-year-old kid that was crawling over their dog. Well, that's exactly what Lavera and these other women want, a dog they can trust to protect and obey. And they say that's what they're getting from Jacob and Blue Line Canine. Just imagine in your head a scenario where you're walking in the park and you have him sit and you say, hey, pass off, pay attention to that guy. He's dangerous, I can tell, something doesn't seem right. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, good. Good boy. Good boy. Come on. Let him walk around. Good. good. Praying him around. Good. In my experience working with dogs, that they have too many natural abilities for us just to turn them into couch potatoes. We all love dogs. We all want a companion dog, but they are they're instinctual about certain things, and we bring those things out. So that, that's what I love about it. That's why I bring these dogs in. That's what I enjoy about working with them. Hey, and at the same time, I get to work with really good people. <laughs> It was a great group. I really enjoyed all of them. I want to thank them all for coming out on a very hot day yeah. to do that. And Jacob says that while we saw German Shepherds there, all kinds of breeds can be protection dogs. As a matter of fact, he told me that they're training a bulldog right now uh, to be a protection oh, dog. Wow. So, you know, it just depends. The main thing, your dog has to be social, have courage, and a prey drive. And he says they can test for that and help you find the dog that will work for you. And